And welcome back to The Kiosk Presents. Today we have a fantastic star. It's Natalie Dormer. Uh, you might know her as uh, Marjorie Tyrell in Game of Thrones or as her fantastic job portraying Anne Boleyn in The Tudors. Thank you so much for joining us here in Buffalo and Western New York, Natalie. Pleasure. Nice to meet you, Steve. Now, you've done a lot of stuff for TV. Right now you're here for a movie, The Counselor. What do you like better, doing movies, doing TV? Oh, I can't, I can't choose. I can't say. Um, all mediums, film, TV, stage. Um, I'm very grateful that I've been able to maintain all three in my career, and I hope to continue to do so. All right. Well, my wife definitely said you were one of the most convincing ends that she's seen in any medium. Uh, so I, she wanted me to share that with you. Oh, it was lovely. definitely... You don't necessarily sympathize with Anne a lot. A lot of people paint her as the devil, and your Anne, she had a bit of that, but it wasn't. No, thank you very much, Steve. You're quite right. She's either vilified or put on a pedestal, and for me, it was about just finding the humanity of the woman, you know? Um, the movie is a dark, um, thriller-esque story about um, a lawyer who finds himself in over his head regarding a, a drug cartel, drugs deal that goes badly wrong. And um, as you can see, a stellar cast that is involved and the incredible Ridley Scott directing. So it was a great opportunity for me to work at such a high level. And um, my character is sort of part of the, uh, part of the, um, the the power play and the the you know the dangerous game that is happening in order for people to uh, survive and make their money in that game. Now I bet from the name, as you as you do not have a traditional name, that who your character really is probably will become an issue to the uh, lawyer in question at some point. Yes, she's an esoteric character. She's a mysterious character on pur on purpose, and. Um, so that, that's, that's always fun to play when you don't really know who a character is. They're just coming in. So, I mean, I can only assume that Ridley liked my take on it and um, gave me the job. Fantastic. Uh, now, what are the, from having worked on TV and having worked in uh, movies, are, which one, like, what are the differences in your mind? Well, I think a lot of people would agree that some of the best writing in, uh, in the industry is happening in television at the moment. And that's why I'm so proud, case in point, to be a part of something like Thrones. Um, but you know, film is, um, great cinema will never die, absolutely. And is, you know, the, has a, uh, going to a movie a theater and the romance and the all encompassing experience of sitting in a movie theater, I don't think will ever die. So, um, you just enjoy each medium when you're doing it at every particular time. All right, well, we're definitely gonna ch check you out in The Counselor. Uh, one last thing, can you give us any hints on what'll happen next in Game of Thrones? Uh, I might be having an important day like every woman has in her life that involves a white-ish dress, so. Okay. <laughs> Possibly. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us here in Buffalo, West New York. Everyone, please check out The Counselor in theaters. Uh, and thank you so much, Natalie. Nice to talk to you, Steve. Thank you.